Hi everyone! I have yet another piece of audio equipment for repair here. This is Samsung D1500 real-time analyzer. This is a rack mount unit and the rack ears are missing. And I was told that something is wrong with it. It does not boot up or hangs or something like that. So let's give it a go. I connected the power cord and the power switch is on the back. And there you go. All we see is the backlight and nothing is happening. I believe we should see something on the screen. So let's take this thing apart and have a look inside. I took the top cover off, so let's have a look what do we have here. This is the mains input, EMI filter, and transformer, so this must be a linear mode power supply. This is a digital board. These are analog inputs and outputs. Now let's have a look. Here they are. There is another second board here, uh, perhaps with some signal conditioning, like um, buffering and perhaps even ADCs and DACs, because the main board is entirely digital, it looks like. Uh, these connectors are MIDI. Here they are. Uh, this connector is a microphone input. And uh, there is also a second board here, uh, also perhaps with a preamplifier and uh, maybe ADC as well. And there are unpopulated options here and here. And uh, these are connectors for those options, I suppose. And this goes to the front panel. And uh, here we have a row of buttons on the bottom, and these are all LEDs. And here we have a rotary encoder and an LCD screen. Uh, here is this ribbon cable to the LCD, and this is the rotary encoder. Let's have a closer look at the digital board. And by the way, check this out. Someone must have taken this thing apart and forgot to attach this ground wire from the front panel to the chassis. So, this must be the main CPU. It seems to be Intel ATC31 clone. This is a Texas Instruments DSP. These are a couple of Xilinx chips, uh, some programmable logic. Uh, this is a flash chip with uh, firmware, I suppose. This must be a RAM chip. Uh, these are a couple of 74 series chips, perhaps some buffers. This is another 74 series chip, I'm not sure what that is exactly. And this small chip must be an EEPROM chip uh, to store some configuration and such. Absolutely nothing on the other side of the board. I've done some checking and I believe that this cable from the power supply carries a 5 volt rail only. And this 4 pin connector has 2 pins for the ground and 2 pins for the 5 volt rail. And there are bypass capacitors right next to the connector, electrolytic and ceramic. So if we turn this thing on, we hear some buzz from the transformer. And uh, look at this, uh, we have 5 volt rail, no problem here. And uh, here we have two voltage regulators. This one is LD33, so it is supposed to produce 3.3 volt rail. So if we connect this to the ground and probe this input pin here. 
five volts in and the output is low and keeps going down and the second regulator is LD18 so it is supposed to produce uh, 1.8 volt rail from this 3.3 volt rail so this one of course is wrong as well because the 3.3 volt is low and the regulator is quite hot and also this um, Xilinx CPLD chip is hot and this buffer as well but the second CPLD is not even warm so let's have a look with my thermal camera here they are three hot chips this is the voltage regulator and unfortunately at this close distance the cross is not aligned with uh, uh, the uh, thermal image so I should aim a little higher so I'm looking in this area for the highest temperature which is about let's say 56 degrees 57 degrees C or so and uh, this is the CPLD it is about 40 uh, 4 40, 46 degrees or so and this is the buffer this is 74HC245 buffer and it is quite hot as well and the second CPLD is not even visible here so I am worried that um, Xilinx CPLD might be dead and if it is dead indeed then I don't like my chances most probably this uh, thing is hopeless then but uh, there is hope that the buffer might be dead and loading the CPLD somehow so I need to do more checking and now I disconnected the input and output boards just in case they might be loading something here but that didn't help at all I desoldered the buffer chip and unfortunately I still see the same thing the Xilinx is still hot and the 3.3 volt rail is still low the same way Here is the CPLD that is dead, I believe, XC9536XL, 5 nanoseconds pin-to-pin uh, -pin logic delays. There are three versions, I think, uh, 5, 7.5 and, and 10 nanoseconds. And the version we have is a 10 nanosecond version. Uh, up to 178 MHz frequency, 800 usable gates. The package we have is this one, 44-pin uh, VQFP, uh, fast flash technology. Um, so it is programmable through JTAG and uh, 10,000 program arrays cycles and uh, look at this enhanced data security features so once programmed and uh, security is enabled there is no way to read the program from this thing and most probably this is enabled I would think so even if I had a good unit and the uh, JTAG programmer and installed the software and figured out how to use all this stuff most probably this is hopeless 
So, let's have a look at the second one. This is the other CPLD, which is not getting hot, so probably it's fine, but you never know. This one is 9572XL with 1600 usable gates, and the package is this one, 64-pin VQFP. And again, all sorts of nice features. We are not going to uh, go into much detail in this video. I desoldered the CPLD and now look at this. The 3.3 volt rail is fine. The 1.8 volt rail is fine. And nothing is getting hot. But there is still nothing on the display and no signs of life at all. And I am afraid this unit is hopeless. Because most probably there is no way to read data from the CPLD, even I had a good unit. So I think I am going to declare this a fail. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.